way your team handled going into the holiday break, that, that time in the schedule where it's really easy to look ahead of things. Yeah. You didn't like the way they went into the All-Star break. Where are you at with the group and where their direction and their attention is right now? Well, I, I like where we're at right now, but we have a couple games left. Yeah. I, I, I'd like to see us, if we, uh, if we stay on top of ourselves and keep our concentration as, as far as this little bubble, and, and that's why today's an optional skate or, or workout. I, I want all the energy in these two games. Uh, I think we have a better chance to get results. Uh, and, and so, yeah, ask me after, on, uh, after we play Nashville, where I thought we were. I, I think we're, uh, I think we caught ourselves here in the past few games in this little bubble. Now let's uh, try to play the right way here the last couple. Let's just worry about the Pittsburgh game first. Uh, and and just take it day by day and try to find a way to get some results before we break. You're not you're not big on the back to back second day tired uh -uh. excuse for your team. Uh -uh. Do you try to expose that the other direction? Because sure. you, you have a team Toronto last night. <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I think the next two opponents as well. Yeah. Yeah. Just a, yeah. Seen, I don't think you've seen much of that this year. No, right? this is the first week that we've had it. I, uh, yeah, I think it's the first three. I think all three of these games. Toronto was yes, because uh, yeah. Lars always keeps me up to date with that. We we've had, and we've had kind of a crazy type of situation with back to back team waiting for us and, and right. uh, yeah. So you you try to use that because I think players and 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 maybe teams. Uh, uh, Act, uh, act differently as far as the, those type of situations. Maybe people don't agree with me as far as how much energy goes into a back-to-back. -back. I just believe that's part of growing as a team and as a pro is that shouldn't bother you. You've you got to find a way to get, uh, to get yourself ready. And I do think it's easier to play the second game because I think you're, the second win kicks in and, and, and the game is simplified as far as the meetings, as far as we're concerned. Just, we just talk about energy. And uh, yeah, that's what we go about it. How other teams go about it, I don't know. Um, it seems as in talking with Sedlak that he and one of your former players, Vinny Prospo, have kind of formed a little bit of a. Yeah. You know, they, 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 they text. Vinny will shoot him texts. Nothing. Yeah. And, he, and he was Vinny was very respectful, saying, "I'm not telling you anything that John wouldn't say." He better but, not. <laughs> yeah. Do you like the idea that a guy that you coach like that, I think, have a lot of respect for, is yeah. kind of mentoring him a little bit? Yeah. yeah it's same hometown, I believe. I yes. didn't know that at the point uh, earlier this year, but. Vinny and I are very close. Vinny and I went through a very up and down relationship as coach and player uh, in trying to, def I was trying to define him and, and Vinny will fight back, which that's, uh, I've always loved about him. He, he's just full of emotion. Uh, so I have a tremendous amount of respect for him and we're very close. Our families are, 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 uh, are very close. So yeah, I, I think for a guy like Sedzi, Vin Vinny understands me because he was with me for so many years. I think that helps a player that's just starting with me. Uh, yeah, so it, uh, and you can tell Zedzi really respects him uh, just in, the, in some of the conversations I've had. And um, the thing with Vinny Prospel, he's probably uh, one of the hardest practice players. He practiced hard every day. It was so good for me when I was in Tampa to have him to teach some of the young kids how to practice. Um, and he's just full of emotion, so it's uh, it's it's, it's, a, it's a nice situation. Is Sedlak pretty? I mean, on his toes in practice, he oh, seems yeah. like that type. Oh yeah, yeah. He's yeah. He he's uh, uh, no maintenance. He, he, you know what you're going to get from him. Plays hard. He's strong. His core is strong. Uh, yeah, he's got a future. He's got a bright future here. Uh, and remember, this is he. He's grinded away to get here. And now he's here, and he's done some good things for us. John, you talked about the World Cup, that you liked being with the other coaches and kind of sharing ideas and philosophies. Do you and Sully still sure. bang ideas around a oh, lot? Not, not bang ideas, sometimes insults. And uh, <laughs> uh, no, we, 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 we do. We, not as much as I think both of us like. We're, we're, we're pretty good friends. Our families are, are, are good. You know, we're pretty close as far as the years we spent together. But we have, uh, we do text throughout the year. Uh, the, the year that he was, uh, you know, like last year when he wins the Stanley Cup, I, we weren't involved in it and I was living through him. I was so excited for him uh, because I know how good a coach he is. I know how much time he's put in. Uh, yeah, I was just thrilled for him to, to, to do that. And so yeah, we stay in touch. and. We've had, you know, we've had situations playing against one another. We've talked about that during the break, and 
uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I just, he's a very good friend of mine, and I have just have a tremendous amount of respect for him. Can you see areas where you've rubbed off on one another? I think so. I, I think more. I think he's rubbed off on me. I, I think one thing where I think I've rubbed off on him is when he we, we were together for seven or eight years, I think, and when he first came to me. There was so much information coming out of that mind to his and his mouth to me as far as preparing the team. And he just overcoached. And I fight him every day on how much we're going to give to the team. And he was so efficient and, and so cerebral. Uh, I, think, I think I rubbed off of him that you can't give him all the information. You can have it. That's great. But you can't give it all to them. Uh, so that's one thing I think I've helped him. I'm not sure if he'll ever admit that. but. Uh, he has helped me a ton more than I have helped him. Uh, he, he, he was mo he's, he's progressive. He's, uh, he's a great communicator. Uh, I learned a ton from him. I think maybe I helped him a little bit along the way.